You might have often heard that human beings should consume two to three liters of water every day. Well, that's quite scientific, since water consumption helps in regulating all the bodily functions and keeps you and all your body parts hydrated. It's quite obvious and questionable to introspect the connection between water and the human brain. However, much to your surprise, these are quite oddly related. Still curious? Keep watching the video till the end to quench your curiosity. Hey everyone, once again welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, then do make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. Let's begin. Water consumption and brain function are integrally connected. Over 60 of the grown-up natural body is crafted of water and every system in the body is dependent on proper hydration, including the conditioning of the brain and nervous system. But what really does drinking water help you with? The water that we devour helps in guarding your tissues, spinal cord, and joints. Drinking acceptable volumes of water also helps you and your body to take off toxic bodily wastes. Decent water input enables your body to excrete waste through perspiration, urination, and defecation. Water helps your kidneys doff waste from your blood and keep the blood vessels that run to your kidneys open and filter them out. Still, numerous people confuse drinking too much water as the cure for constipation. This is one of the most notorious misconceptions people have in their brains. Drinking water is important for averting constipation and its symptoms, still prevention does not necessarily mean that it would heal the complaint. There's no testimony to prove that amplifying your fluid input will heal constipation. Apart from the above told data, drinking water aids in digestion as water helps break down the food you eat, allowing its nutrients to be absorbed by your body. After you drink, both your small and large intestines take up water, which moves into your bloodstream and is also used to break down nutrients. As your large intestine absorbs water, stool fluxes from liquid to solid. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Water prevents you from turning dehydrating, which is relatively striking to even be expressed. Your body loses fluids when you engage in vigorous exercise, sweat in high heat, come down with a fever or contract an illness that causes puking or diarrhea. It also helps your brain to serve optimally. Ever feel foggy-headed? Take a sip of water. It's no wonder considering H2O makes up 75% of the brain. One reason for that foggy-headed feeling? Acceptable electrolyte balance is vital to keeping your body performing optimally. Low electrolytes can bring issues involving muscle weakness, fatigue, and confusion. It also keeps your cardiovascular system healthy. Water is a huge part of your blood. For case plasma, the pale yellow liquid portion of your blood is about 90% water, notes Britannica. If you get dehydrated, your blood becomes more concentrated, which can direct to an imbalance of the electrolyte minerals it contains. Water can help you eat healthier. It may be straight, but it's important. In a study of further than American grown-ups, people who drank just 1% more water a day ate lesser calories and lower logged fat, sugar, sodium, and cholesterol. Brain cells want a delicate balance between water and various essentials to operate. When you lose too much water, that balance is busted. Your brain cells lose effectiveness. Research has demonstrated that lack of water in the brain can damage short-term memory function and the recall of long-term memory, as well as bring on a variety of symptoms similar as brain fog, collapse, headaches, sleep issues, stress, outrage, and depression. Among its numerous health aids, water helps with digestion and circulation, as well as helps with the transportation and immersion of nutrients, and helps to hold down fluctuations in body temperature in a warm or cold climate. Drinking water can enhance one's brain health by simply adding blood inflow and oxygen to the brain. Still, we must also consider the fact that too much of a commodity may also be dangerous. And yes, this also holds true in this case. Too much water can be evil to your brain. The fast consumption of large measures of water can crush the body's natural capability to maintain normal fluid balance. This causes extra fluid to enter the brain, affecting brain swelling. Symptoms of brain swelling may include confusion, headache, sleepiness, languor, and dizziness. Severe symptoms include abrupt and anticipated loss of knowledge, seizures, or stroke. When the body takes in extreme quantities of fluid, the extra water literally flows into the brain cells through a process called osmosis. This causes brain tissue compression and want of normal function. Brain cells may witness a dislocation to their normal calcium and sodium concentration and commence to act abnormally. This results in symptoms that may include flightiness, dizziness, or confusion. Hyponatremia, having an abnormally low quantity of sodium in the bloodstream, can contribute to the symptoms of sickness, puking, or muscle cramps. The condition can also bring on brain cell death from physical compression 
and electrolyte water imbalances. Hyponatremia can be really problematic to manage medically because it progresses so hastily and the affliction is so severe. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. There are many circumstances that may prompt an extreme quantity of water drinking and potentially overdose. Athletics It's normal for athletes to drink fluid in order to replenish and chill off during and after a practice session, and it's important for the body to stay hydrated during exertion. Even so, in the setting of extreme physical exertion, thirst may not be the sporty companion. Hyponatremia due to extreme drinking and sodium loss through sweating has been seen among marathon and triathlon participants. Diabetes However, then this could be a sign of diabetes, a problem with your pancreas that results in a buildup of blood sugar, if you're drinking an insane volume of water and still feeling actually thirsty. Your body manages the extra blood sugar in a genuine complex way, and constant urination and constantly feeling thirsty are among the first signs of diabetes. Speak with your healthcare provider as soon as possible if you feel you're feeling this situation. Games that involve drinking the overfilled amount of liquid. Water load has been responsible for incidents of brain damage and death in children, teenagers, and youthful grown-ups who play games involving overblown fluid drinking or who use rapid consumption of surplus water or fluid in hazing and initiation rituals. The outcome is usually shocking to young witnesses, which can further delay appropriate medical attention and treatment. Thus, the damage may be permanent paralysis, mental incapacity, or death. The adult human body contains around 60% water. All the cells in the body, including our brain cells, depend on this water to carry out essential functions. Therefore, if water levels are too low, our brain cells cannot function properly, leading to cognitive problems. The brains of dehydrated adults show signs of increased neuronal activation when performing cognitively engaging tasks indicating that their brains are working harder than normal to complete the task. In healthy young adults, this additional effort typically manifests as fatigue and changes in mood, but in populations with less cognitive reserve, such as the elderly, this can lead to a decline in cognitive performance. Performance on complex cognitive tasks that require high levels of brain power is most likely to decline due to the strain of dehydration. Women of all ages are more sensitive to the effects of dehydration but elderly women are especially vulnerable. A study examining the hydration status of 2,506 adults over age 60 found that women with inadequate levels of hydration showed worse performance on cognitive tasks related to attention and processing speed. The performance of dehydrated men also declined, but to a lesser degree. However, another question that might arise in your inquisitive brain is the fact how much water does our body actually need? Is two to three liters of water enough for our body? It is recommended for men to consume 3.7 liters and women to get 2.7 liters of fluids per day, which can come from water, beverages in general, and foods such as fruits and vegetables. This can be confirmed by the urine test to evaluate how you're drinking up. After going to the bathroom, look at the color of your urine. If it is very pale yellow to light yellow, you're well hydrated. Darker yellow is a sign of dehydration. Brown or cola-colored urine is a medical emergency and you should seek medical attention. Water does more than just quench your thirst and regulates your body's temperature. Water consumption is an important part of healthy body function and balance, and drinking water is generally good for you. That being said, drinking an excessive amount of water can have health consequences ranging from mild to serious. The key to a healthy lifestyle is balance and moderation. If you liked the video, then do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another update from our channel. Also, make sure to like and comment on the video since this motivates us to keep making more videos like these. Until then, drink an adequate amount of water, stay hydrated, and keep yourself healthy. See you in the next video. See